There once was a king who considered himself a great and clever king. He would proudly stroke his beard and say, I am a clever king. To prove my cleverness, I invite anyone to challenge me with a riddle to solve. One day, this king received a package containing three dolls. And a challenge, which read, O oh, king, if you are as great and clever as you claim, please be so wise to tell the difference between these three dolls. Aha! I am a great and clever king, and I shall easily solve this little riddle. So the king stroked his beard and hummed to himself as he studied the three dolls. <laughs> ah! He pulled upon his beard in frustration, for he could see no difference between the dolls. The three dolls were exactly alike in every form and feature down to the smallest detail. clever king, and it is said that a great king will keep a wise man nearby to help him solve his problems. I have such a wise man. Come, wise man. Majesty, in what wise manner may I be of service? Wise man, I have before me three dolls exactly alike. What is the difference between them? The wise man bent to examine the dolls. After a great deal of consideration, the wise man thought to tell the king this matter was not worth his time. He thought to tell the king many other things too, but he wisely said nothing, nothing, for it is wise to keep your thoughts to yourself, especially in a presence of a powerful monarchy. The king sent the wise man away. This wise man is of no use to me. He is too hard-headed. But I am a great and clever king, and it is said that a great king will sometimes listen to the counsel of a fool, for a fool will rush in where a wise man feared to tread. Come, fool! Hi, king. How you doing? Fool, I have three dolls exactly alike. What is the difference between them? The fool did not listen. She saw the three dolls and only thought to play with them. Wee dollies, let's play pretend. Let's pretend we're going on a picnic. But before the fool could have much fun, the king sent her away. This fool is of no use to me, for this fool is a fool. I pity the fool! <laughs> but I am a great and clever king, and it is said that a great king will have a storyteller, for the tellers of tales carry many words of wisdom. Come, storyteller! Majesty, how may I serve you? A fable, perhaps? Or a recitation of the glorious deeds in your greatness in verse and song? Or perhaps... Enough, storyteller. Don't get started. Today I have a riddle. I have three dolls exactly alike. What is the difference between them? Majesty, there is no difference between these dolls. That much I myself have already determined. If you cannot see a difference between these dolls, the answer must be within. Ah, very good, but how can you show these differences? Majesty, there must be many ways to reach inside of a person. However, the one, my, the one way I am most acquainted is through the ears, if you will permit me. The storyteller reached up and plucked a hair from the king's beard. Ow, how dare you! Forgive me, but as you shall see, it was most necessary. The storyteller approached the first of the three dolls and began to 
thread the king's hair in, into its ear. The hair went in and in and in the doll's ear until it was gone. Majesty, this doll must be a wise man. What it hears, it keeps to itself. Ah, oh, very good, but what of the others? If you will permit me. Ow! Now the storyteller approached the second doll and began to thread the hair into its ear. The hair went in and in and in, but as she was threading the hair in one ear, it came out the other. Majesty, this doll must be a fool. What goes in one ear comes out the other. Very good, but what about the last one? If you will permit me. Ow, again! The storyteller approached the third doll and began to thread the hair into its ear. The hair went in and in and in. It did not come out the other side, but it did not stay all together either. For as she was threading the hair into the doll's ear, it came slowly out of the doll's mouth. Majesty, this doll must be a storyteller. What it hears, it eventually tells. Storyteller, you have solved this riddle. But I see you have given me a new riddle to consider. For when you put the hair in the doll's ear, it is a straight ear. Whenever, yet whenever it comes out the doll's mouth, it is all curled. Why? Majesty, no storyteller worth his salt will ever tell a tale exactly how we heard it. We must always add a special curl of our own devising to the retelling of the tale. And so we have done in retelling these tales for you. Welcome to the 